This story was sent to me by Coco 2005 and it is coming out of West Virginia. Now, in this picture, you see two, well, you see a person and an item. The person's name is Tristan Anderson and the item to his left in the picture is a vape pen. This story right here is going to show why they're going to start cracking down on vape pens and it's also going to be a reason as to why I would never mess with one personally. Nothing against those who actually do vape. So this man right here has been charged because he laced these vape pens with heroin. So that means whoever bought one, maybe from him or wherever he was selling them, he uh, put heroin in them. And these people got a whole, excuse me, a whole different type of a high. First off, I would not buy a vape pen off of just somebody. It would have to come from a manufacturer that I trusted, not some random person. But let me go ahead and get into this article. Morgantown police have arrested a man after hours of the Morgantown Police Department and the Mon Metro Drug Task Force were able to identify and confirm another source of heroin laced vape pens and vape solutions that sent two high school students to the hospital. According to a press release from the Morgantown Police Department, a K-9 officer conducted a traffic stop on Gallatin Street with a 2018 Dodge Ram truck on Wednesday night. The driver was identified as 23-year-old Tristan Anderson of Bolivar, Ohio. The K-9 gave a positive indication on the truck, police say. A search of the truck led to the recovery of more than two and a half pounds of marijuana scales and packaging material. Police searched Anderson's apartment on Virginia Avenue and found more than 25 pounds of marijuana, more than 70 bottles of highly concentrated THC oils and other controlled substances, more than 300 TKO label vaping cartridges and over 100 THC edible candies. Anderson has been charged with possession with intent to sell and deliver a controlled substance in his pending arraignment. A count clerk, I'm sorry, a court clerk said he has not yet been hired. He has not yet hired a lawyer. Police last week said they also identified an underage high school student. Sorry about that. I got a call. Okay, so back to what I was saying. It says, police said last week they also identified an underage high school student as a suspect after finding vaping solutions and packaging materials during the execution of a search warrant. One of the vape pens was confirmed to be contaminated with heroin and other dangerous chemicals. State Senator Bob Beach, a Democrat who represents Morgantown, asked Governor Jim Justice to issue an executive order declaring a vaping declaring vaping a public health emergency. See, that's all it took. All it took was one incident for them to declare this to be a health emergency. This, like I said, nothing against those who vape because there's a lot of people from all walks of life and a, a lot of ages who vape. But this right here is going to cause them to crack down on this and try to remove it. I mean, they've been looking for a reason to get rid of it anyway. But this one right here could be the cause of it. A spokesman for the Republican governor didn't return the voicemail seeking comment. This is just last week. Two Morgan High School students ended up in the hospital after overdosing on heroin that was laced into the vape pens. And that's pretty much it because it's like constant up. There's like a whole bunch of updates, but that's the part that I really want to focus on. But, yeah, it all pretty much goes back to this guy right here because he was the one that they bought the pins from. Now, I'm not saying he put it in or if he did put it in. He could have got it from somebody else and they put it there. But the fact of the matter is he was the last person, as far as transactions go, to have the vape pins. But that's why I say I don't I would not buy something like that off of just some person. It will have to come directly from a manufacturer. I don't care if I have to buy that shit off of Amazon, which it probably for me would might me if I was to do it would probably be the safest thing to do. This is like going to like those like those street pharmacists, like they call them back in the day, and getting certain type of drugs that you that you would need that will usually be prescribed by a physician, but because you need that fix now and you need a, a certain amount that you know wouldn't be prescribed, that's who you go to. But to all of those out there who decide or who are vaping, be careful. Make sure your shit is clean because you may be inhaling something that will not just make you feel good. It'll probably really take you to a whole nother level that you may not be able to climb down from. 
But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next one.